Jay Cordich. Some people call me the father of juicing. I've been doing this for about 65 years. I'm gonna show you our brand new juicer, the Power Grind Pro, which to me is the best on the market. Nothing competes with this machine. But first of all, before I put this produce through here, I wanna show you the component parts and why we fall in love with this kind of a machine. It's a very special unit. First of all, we have a handle that holds down the cover. You unclamp that, cover comes right off. But on the bottom of the cover, we're very unique. This metal piece hinged on and bolted on to the cover will keep grinding everything to perfection. This is the strainer, stainless steel. Inside is a blade. To take this apart, there's a little key that comes with your juicer. This is the key and has two little prongs that coincide with two openings. We're gonna take that blade off. I've got it screwed in. Now you take and you hold the basket so it just doesn't spin. You give it a little traction and unscrew this. Spin that blade out. Now instead of reaching in to pick up the blade and the basket and the bowl, I like to use my common sense and pick up all three pieces at one time. From the bottom, from the bottom right here, I'm going to push that blade out with my finger. There, you see? There's the blade. I'll show you that in a moment. This is the screen, and I think this is probably the finest mesh I've ever seen on any juicer. Finest je mesh to keep the fiber from penetrating into your juice, because you don't want fiber in your juice. Once the juice is through the screen, into this chamber, comes out your spout into your glass or cup or pitcher, all right? Now, let's talk about the blade for a moment. That's why we call it the power grind. If you'll notice, there's a little rise. It's not a flat piece of steel with teeth cut out. There's a rise to it for a good reason. Every fiber of whatever you're putting through there is ripped to 100% so you can get optimum amount of juice out. That's a special design for a blade. And we have the receptacle. And I like to put a plastic bag in here because this is where all the pulp is ejected into after you've extracted the juice from the fibers, you see? And I like to save this pulp and dig a hole in the backyard and bury that pulp and cover it with dirt. This way, I have a organic vegetable garden growth. It's tremendous, a tremendous way to, to, to put nature and nutrients back into your garden so you can grow any kind of flowers or plants or trees or fruits or vegetables, any kind. And we do it all the time at home. We save it, we never throw the pulp away. It goes into the dirt, back to mother nature, all right? So when you're putting the juicer back together, this bucket fits back here. Then you take your bowl, where the, the juice bowl, where the juice is gonna come out of. Then you put this back together, just like that. Take the screen, fit it just right. Once you put that screen, that micro mesh screen, back onto the bolt, then you take your cutting blade, which is the key to this whole juicer, this cutting blade right here. So there's your threads on the bottom that will thread right over that drive shaft, you see. You drop this in place and take this and spin it. Just like that. And then when you get it down snug, that's not tight enough yet, then you take this key, the locking mechanism that'll lock that blade onto the dry shaft, securing the straining basket. So there's two prongs. They drop in those two holes. Now hold the basket, otherwise it'll just turn on you. Hold the basket still, just like that. And just a little tightness, just like that. Just a little snugness, that's all you need. Then take your cover, put it on, Take your handle. Now you're ready to make juice. Smooth as can be. 